Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world, Jeremy Jake from Harlow Town Fans TV. Now, I've just finished doing a 25 minute vlog on certain situations, but I went to it too in depth and I've bubbled over a lot of stuff. So I'm going to try and slim it down. Stalk for yesterday, we lost 3 1. First half, very, very well. Created chances, kept the ball on the floor. Boys looked up for it. Conceded the first goal. Bit of a defensive mistake. He looked upset, um, which I liked. As a, it looked like he cared, which I respected. Goalkeeper giving him a bit of a cuddle. Now I'm going to rush through this and say this kind of fast because I don't expect people to sit there for 20 minutes listening to me go on and on and on and on and on. Second half. Conceded the second, conceded the third. Long ball, long ball, long ball, long ball. Penalty, 3-1, we lose. Everyone laughs at us. All the Stortford fans laugh at us. Fans, great yesterday. First half, absolutely great support. Felt like being all over again, that proper, when we played it easily in York Bros. Absolutely fantastic. Stuff was said on the tourists that wasn't great. Um, like I said yesterday, I don't agree with it. With some of the stuff that I said, I do agree with some of the stuff. People were going to get angry. We always knew that if we lost to Stortford, poop would hit the fan. Now, I'm trying not to swear in this so it can be family friendly. Parent advisory not needed. But I'm going to speak from a neutral's point of view here. Not me with my Harlow Town eyes. I want Harlow to win every game and win every ball in the air. A neutral's point of view, one of my pals that come down to watch yesterday. Obviously, he'd wanted Harlow to win, but he didn't care because he's the first Harlow game he's been to. He said, when you keep the ball on the floor, you're playing very, very well. When you're booting the ball up and the goalkeeper's taking too long to do goal kicks, you look tin pot. And he's not wrong. We can't moan at the players. Yes, the shirt weighs too heavy on some of them. But that's not their fault. That's because they're young. They're learning their trade. No player is going to be a Premier League standard player in this league. And that's no disrespect to them. That's just the way it is. We can't change how good of a footballer somebody is. But what we can do, and what we have done, is stop them from reaching potential by keeping the ball in the air. Why do we do it, Harlow? This is one of my questions. Why? Why do we do it? Because I know when we keep the ball on the floor, we play very, very well. When we put the ball in the air, we are useless. And that is not to offend the players. That is because we don't have the players to deal with it. And we always decide to do long ball against an eight-foot centre-back. Or we always decide to play long ball for 85 minutes, we 3-0 down and decide to keep the ball on the floor. Why? We put the ball on the floor, like, and I'm not talking the ball rolling on the floor before people start getting pedantic. No, actually the ball touched the floor 55,000 times. Spells of play, about five or six that were actually recognisable, where the ball didn't go in the air from goal kick to attack. Well... Yeah, goal kick to attack. We created chances. Okay, we didn't score, but we created chances and we looked good. First off, bloody hell, come on, Arlo. Boys are up for it. Mark Holloway walks on, giving it all of that. Loved it, man. I loved the passion. Yes, we conceded an unfortunate goal and he looked upset, but I loved the passion, man. I loved it. But stop making these players play in a system and play in a way that doesn't utilise potential. You can't play snooker with a bit of rope. You will not be able to do it. You'd have a better chance with a stick. A stick is harder. A stick is the ball on the floor. The stick is passing football. Sometimes you'll miscue the shot and it won't go well. And at the end of the game, you can say, right, we kept the ball on the floor. The team was just too good for us. We shaped tactics up a little bit. We tried long ball when it was needed. But you play with rope, that's just like going, boom. Ah, they've got it again. Boom. 
Ah, get, throw on. Boom. Ah, oh, goal kick. Ah, oh, boom. Ah, oh, no, he's got it again. If you're playing snooker with a bit of rope, it's going to happen. Now, play it with a stick. And I'm talking like a nice big stick. You're going to hit the balls. One might even go in. And it's not fair on the players to keep playing in this BS formation. A uh, uh, long ball tactic. Because it makes them look bad and they're not bad footballers. Jason Rod and Charlie Edwards are too good for us. They're far, far too good for us. Charlie Edwards, it wouldn't surprise me if he tried hard enough and he went for it. And he was utilised to his potential, which we've seen with him playing in midfield. And I know we didn't have a right back, so I'm not going to moan at that too much at this point. He's phenomenal. And I'll be the first to admit, when he first come from Hartford last season, I thought, who the bloody hell was that? I was like, what? oh my God, he scored. He's brilliant. Jason Rod. Okay, he scored the other day. A little bit of banter between me and you, Jace. We knew the win took that. But you deserve the goal from all this stuff that you've done. But we keep putting the ball in the air. Keep the ball on the floor. Rod has got amazing feet. Yes, and I'll say it, I, I work with his agents. He should pass the ball a few more times. Granted, he should do that. But I don't know if that's being stopped from him. Last season, we had a goalkeeper... And this is from the fans' point of view because the communication isn't great at the moment. From what it looks like, goalie's rolled the ball out, he's gone the week after. There could be something else that went on. Because we're never informed and because we're never told, people will make um, assumptions and jump to conclusions. This is why I think the fans' um, chat thing with the manager is going to be great, providing the questions are not scripted and it should be like, Hi, right, yeah, my name's Jake. Right, Mr Chapman... Danny, can you explain what happened in this situation? And he'll say, unfortunately, Jake, I can't explain what happened in this situation. Or, of course, Jake, this is what's happened. At least we know. Bend the truth a little bit if you need to. But if you come out and say something, who are we to question it? If you don't, and I'm not talking Danny himself, I'm talking as the club. If you don't, people are going to make assumptions. Now, David Hughes thing. We all, no one really knows what's going on there. We can make assumptions as to say, we haven't got the money. We let Hughes go, which in the manner we let him go is disgraceful from what we can see. In fact, I know it, well, I'll keep that bit out of it. And it's probably the case of Southender paying us to have Bexon, give him game time as part of the contract. Fine. Come out and tell us. Because someone could easily go, oh yeah, David Hughes left because uh, Danny Chapman punched him in the dick. We know it didn't happen, but enough people start hearing that. It's like, oh, did you hear Danny Chapman? You know what stuff? You know how stuff like this works. Now I'm not going to talk about what was said just today on the terrace. That has nothing to do with me. That is to do with other people. People will say what they want at football, right or wrong. It happens. Whether you agree or don't agree with it, it's football, not tiddly winks. Some stuff that's said to me, get, or some stuff that really winds me up, other people are fine with. Stuff that I'm fine with really winds other people up. And that's the way it is. Now, please, Harlow, just for once, for one game, listen to the fans against Leatherhead, because they're tin pot this season. They're not what they used to be, with most of their good players going to Concord. Keep the ball on the floor. We go and lose that game 3 4 0. We'll all put our hands up and go, You were right. Play long ball, we can't keep it on the floor. But without doing that, and you never know, you might get a bit smug about it. It's not a dig at anyone, I'm not saying anyone's got to lose their jobs. All I'm saying is this long ball needs to stop. Now, this is 10 minutes long rather than 20. Also, start Robbie Martin and utilise him as well, please.
because otherwise he'll end up going to them. But thank you, goodbye, and it's been a nice swear-free rant for a change. <laughs>